Your Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Prime Minister of United Arab Emirates and ruler of Dubai, Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear colleagues and friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The COVID-19 pandemic has underscored that our faith as a global community is intertwined and our collective resilience is only as strong as the weakest among us. Overstretched health systems coupled with political instability and a lack of security allow infectious diseases to thrive. In Africa, we have seen the impact of COVID-19 and other infectious diseases, the resurgence of polio and measles, and the current Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. But we also know that with strong leadership, strong health systems, a strong health workforce, and strong and sustained commitment of donors, disease outbreaks can be controlled effectively. Investing in strong health systems built on primary health care is the best investment in health security and the foundation of universal health coverage. The rapid development of vaccines for COVID-19 has also brought the world a much-needed source of hope. But vaccines are a tool. What matters is how we use them. The fastest way to end this pandemic is by suppressing the virus everywhere at the same time. The more opportunity the virus has to spread anywhere, the more opportunity it has to change in ways that could make vaccines less effective. We could all end up back at square one. That means vaccine equity is not just an act of charity. It's in every country's own best interests. Two weeks ago, Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire became the first countries to receive doses of vaccine through COVAX. We expect that around half of African countries will have vaccination programs underway by the end of this month. We ask for your continued support for COVAX as the best way to control the pandemic, restore confidence, and drive the global recovery. We are all in this together, and we will only get out of it together. Shukran Jazilan. I thank you.